We've looked at one big, historic, successful tour sound based club. Let's look at HB's younger brother. Fourth place last season, but no shortage of silverware in their trophy room. This is Faro Ball, and this is B36. Botfella 36, or Sexotretti as they'd say roughly in Faroese, are the other big team in Torsound, alongside their ground sharing rivals HB. They were officially formed, as the name suggests, in 1936, and the reason for a second Tor Sound team came about because as football's popularity was growing, more and more young Faroese players in the city found it difficult to get into the HB team, so they set up another team to give them a chance to play. They tried to wrestle the rights to the Gondardalore Stadium away from HB, and it took an intervention from the actual mayor of Torsound to decide that the stadium should be shared between the two clubs. Six years after being formed, the first official Faroese League was created and B36 won the first of 11 league titles in 1946. By the time their rivals HB won a title in 1955, B36 already had three trophies in their cabinet. They normally play in all white or white with black shorts. I talked a lot about the Gondardalore Stadium back in the HB video, so I'll try not to repeat too much of that. But the Gondardalore has been home to HB since their formation in 1905, and B36 have coexisted there semi peacefully all their playing life too. As mentioned before, each team has a stand in their own colours in the upper field of the stadium. It sits next to Torsvala, the national stadium, which has spent a couple of years undergoing renovation and expansion and is set to be used for the first time in its new guise in 2021. B36 have had many high points in their history, but perhaps their finest hour came in 1997 as they finally laid to rest a barren run of failure. After winning their fifth title in 1962, the club fell into decline, including being relegated to the second tier a couple of times, and having to watch bitter rivals HB steam past their title tally. In 1997, 35 years after their last league win, they finally finished top of the pile again, thanks in no small part to the heroics of John Pettersson, who in 150 league games for B36 scored 103 goals and won Player of the Year twice. Speaking of trophies, B36 have won the Faroese Cup five times, three times against HB, which does sound impressive, but they've actually got to the final 17 times losing on 11 occasions, six times to HB. But if you are going to beat your big rivals, do what Raualda Jakobsen did and score in the last minute of extra time from inside your own half. This goal sent B36 to the final, which they lost to NSOI, but they'd win it the year after on penalties against HB. What B36 definitely do have over their red and black rivals though is a better European record. HB have just two wins in all European competitions from 30 ties, and one of them was awarded to them by default. B36's record reads a lot better with a Champions League win over Malta's Bukerkara and Europa League slash UEFA Cup wins over Titograd from Montenegro, which set up a glamorous tie with Besiktas, two wins over Gibraltar's St. Joseph's, and most notably in 2005 beating OIBV from Iceland the first time a Faroese team had won a two-legged match in Europe, and against Icelanders no less. In this year's Europa League, they went further than they've ever been before. After beating St. Joseph's in the preliminary round, they went on to beat FCI Lavadia from Estonia, and then the New Saints from Wales on penalties, to set up a third qualifying round tie with Bulgarian giants and former UEFA Cup winners CSKA Sofia. It wasn't to be, as they went out in their one-legged tie, but the European pedigree of Torsound definitely lies with B36. Sebastian Pingel has crossed the Torsound divide twice in five years. After moving from B36 to HB in 2017, he scored 18 goals in three seasons. He came back to B36 last season and scored 17 goals in just one season, so whatever B36 do with him, he prefers life on the white and black side of the stadium. Only one member of the recent Faroe Islands national team call-ups came from B36, and that was 20-year-old Magnus Jakobsen, 
who has been a first team regular in the middle of the pitch for a couple of seasons and has all the makings of a skilled midfielder for years to come. Benjamin Heinesen is the longest serving B36 player despite being only 24. He made his debut appearance in 2012 at the age of 16 and was a first team regular just a few years later. He's already notched up over 200 appearances for the club. They have plenty of famous faces from the past, many of whom have gone on to win many caps for the Faroe Islands, but one player did something very uncommon. Balwin Balwinson scored bagfuls of goals in the 60s and 70s and won a league and a cup and after retiring as a player, went on to become a respected referee. And in the Klagswig video we looked at Odmar Ferrer. Well, in his career, he's had four stints at B36, spending ten years with the club in total. His father, also called Odmar Ferrer, played for B36 too, before swapping goals for molars, becoming a dentist. And his father, also called Odmar Ferrer, played for B36 as well. And finally, Polish import Łukasz Czeszlewicz, who now plays at Wojcinga, but spent 8 years with B36 scoring 84 goals in just over 200 league games and twice winner of the Faroese Footballer of the Year. B36 hold the record for the biggest league win in the Faroese top flight when they played FS Wuer, a former team which is now part of 07 Vesta, who we'll look at in more detail in their own video later on. When Wuer rocked up to Gundadalor on the 27th of May, they were already struggling in the league but nobody could have predicted B36 to come out as 15-0 winners. You could say that Vua weren't helped by a red card at half time, but they were already 8-0 down at that point. B36 have lacked a cutting edge for a few seasons, being outclassed by Klaxwick and HB. Although they did score a runners up spot in 2019, the last few seasons have seen them finish around 3rd or 4th. They have a new manager this year. 33-year-old Dan Brimswick, who has been associated with the club for years, but never made a first-team playing appearance, but he certainly knows the club well. I think they'll go one better than last season, and claim themselves a podium spot. And that's B36, done and dusted. If they were to be an English team, they'd probably be Tottenham. Successful, strong, well-supported, and always battling it out with their long-term Capital City Red Rivals. Tack for watching. As usual, throw a like and subscribe my way if you absolutely want to, and I'll see you next time as we reach mid-table and Wojcinga Goethe.